I am the Red Cyclone! For the last we have podcast. This is our podcast, Red Cycle Links podcast, of, of everything and anything in the world of pop culture and beyond. I'm your host, Louis Beans, and I'm here with Mark with the Mike. What's up? What's up? Chillin' chillin', Mark. How you doing? Not bad, not bad. I finished Yakuza 6 this week. Oh, good. Did you like the ending? It hurt my heart. Oh. Those games never really do end on a completely good note, but... Yeah. But I, I like where we went, and I see where they, they could possibly go for if they do a seven, mm-hmm. or or pretty much they're just gonna do a bunch of spinoffs. I don't know. Yeah, but, I think they say uh, Kiryu is now just he's just, they don't know what he's gonna do for the future. They they're not having any plans to continue. You right miss Kiryu. So the next game I think in the actual series is like. There's some young guy, the Yakuza Online series. Okay. So I think I think Kiryu is in there, but um, oh. like they've gone with a different protagonist and stuff. So. Oh, okay. Makes sense. But that also brings up Judgment. Yeah, I can't wait for that game. And they this past what was it, like two I think it was two days ago they released a trailer, like showing off all the combat, the two yeah. the switching combat styles between. I guess the single person, and then I, I think the other one is Crane, which is like multiple people. Yeah. Yeah, so it just looks cool. Um, it's a lot faster of a fighting style than it is for Kiryu, so. Yeah. And I was telling you, also, it reminds me of um, Majima. Yeah, it does remind me of Majima with the whole like rolling up, like the spinner Rooney coming up and things like that, too. Yeah, yeah, a lot of the flashy, like just off the wall type of stuff. Um, yeah, a lot of like, a lot of like really dramatic kicks and stuff. I noticed that like he's more of a kung fu character. Yeah, I think they actually mentioned that. But it's it's interesting in that they say he does kung fu, but he's like, it says that he's self taught. It's just like, so the Japanese man self taught himself kung fu. You watched a lot of Shaolin Monk. <laughs> <laughs> he fell in love with Shaolin Saga. Yeah, watch. I gotta do that. Yeah. He just practiced the moves and got better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it looks really he good. Was, you pre-ordered it, right? Yeah, I did pre-order it. I have it on Best Buy pre-ordered. Um, I did watch the combat trailer, and then I also did watch the English trailer, which it threw me off a little bit because I'm not used to hearing English in these games. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so it's pretty cool that it's actually going to be in English. So there's a chance that I'll probably go through it in English and then go through it in Japanese to see the big difference of the style of voice. Yeah. But other than that, I'm very excited for this game. Uh, it looks like it has like the detective shit from like L.A. Noir, Phoenix Wright kind of thing that you're looking for stuff. And it, it looks more like it has a different aspect of the game than what a Yakuza had. Like a Yakuza, it was like more combat with missions and kind of like GTA, but with a lot more heavier on combat. Mm-hmm. In a way, without the stealing cars and whatnot, but it's just like the, the open sandbox world with high combat scenarios and shit. Yeah, and I just like that they, they have this is not like a less serious game, they are going 100% like on the story, you know, so it's gonna be good writing, you know, it's gonna be good writing because that's one thing that the series, the series itself, it prides itself on. Like, it's not in English, but it's uh, written very well so that anybody can understand it. And yeah. it does take you on an emotional roller coaster. So I'm, ex- I'm curious because the dude is a brand new character. Yeah. So like, what are they gonna do to endear him to, you know, the Yakuza fan fan base? Yeah, I feel like there's gonna be some characters from Yakuza like showing up and then kind of connecting him in some way or somehow. Yep, they're all in the same exact exact same city. So. It's the same up. restaurants. 
Yeah. Hopefully the oh, cool arcade yeah. games are in there. Oh no, they showed it off the I think the the, the mini game trailer they had a while ago. Then they're not skimping on anything. Yeah. If anything, they're putting in more battery type of stuff. I saw the drone races, the the idol stuff, the superhero costume that you get, yeah. the powers and all that. They're going all out with this one. The only one I did not see is karaoke. Oh yeah, that's right. I didn't see um, but they never said that it is, it is or isn't in the game, so you'll figure it out when it comes out. That's true. Well, that's well it did come out already. Like when? when the hell a couple months there? ago. No, no, no. I'm talking about when they usually have the American release date before. And I'm just like, what? what is that? Oh, June 25th. Yeah. So. Can't wait. I have so, a few so, That'll be my game. All right, and we're going to take a little break right here just to remind you to follow us on Tumblr, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, also on SoundCloud. What we do is we have this podcast, the It Gets Better I Swear podcast. Um, we also have the Wrestling Babble podcast that's hosted by Merc with the Mic, who's a frequent guest on my show. And that should be on Merc with the Mic on SoundCloud. We post those on YouTube as well. So you can check the Merc with the Mic podcast out on his YouTube channel, which is also Merc with the Mic. And also you can catch the It Gets Better Ride Swear podcast as well as the various other playthroughs on the Red Cycloning YouTube channel. Thank you. I mean, before then, I'm gonna probably start um, Arkham Asylum on Twitch. Okay. Did you get that? Yeah, it was like it was like twelve bucks for all three games. So I was like, okay. And I've been wanting to go through them again, but now it gives me a reason because I could get, I could get the trophies off on the PS4. So which I never. One, which one was it again? Uh, Arkham Batman Arkham Asylum. Is well, this I got, one? I got all three, so I got Arkham Asylum, Arkham Knight, and Arkham City. It was like thirteen dollars for all three. Okay. With all the DLC and shit, so I was like, all right. Oh yeah, yeah. And it's, what is it? I was, I, I think I asked last week when you brought it up. I was like, well, how come it's out of order? Well, they, I, they, I said they it skip, out. Of they order. skipped the game. Oh, yeah, Origins, because Origins wasn't done. Oh, it's the the company's collection, Rockstar. Yeah. Oh, that makes even more sense. Yeah, Rocksteady did those three, and then uh, Montreal, WB Games Montreal, they did okay. the Origins, which they don't count. They don't put it connected to. That's Rocksteady don't connect them to each other, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. but okay. they do. They're like, we are part of it. No, you're not. Stop lying. Do it. And that reminds me of BioWare. It's like, yeah, hey, you're BioWare. No, you're not. <laughs> you, know, you made an anthem. Yeah. <laughs> it was something else entirely. Yeah. Uh, wait, did you, did you start that yet? Uh, I'm going to probably start it today. Okay, cool. So with Arkham, uh, Arkham Asylum. It's the, re- it's the HD remake. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I heard they, they had funny eyes, so we figure out that. <laughs> hmm? Or they have funny eyes, like the eyeballs are funny because they did the whole enhance the graphics and the eyes look really big. That's a that's something that they do? Jeez. I don't know. They did it with uh, Assassin's Creed. Them get, they tried to give them anime faces? What happened? They did it with Assassin's Creed. Really? We see the eyes like they really big. Yeah. Wow. That's really funny. Eye tech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's weird. Um, oh, I've never heard about that. I gotta check that out. Mortal Kombat uh, was in the news this week for uh, they revealed Shang Tsung coming out this week this month. They also um, showed off the entire well, excuse me, they, showed, they, they, they teased two characters, but they showed the list officially of everybody else. Yeah. And one of the cool things is yeah, Shang Tsung is the first character who has a crazy moveset. Like they, I, they did some real work on that character. And he can really, still transform, but he has moves of characters that aren't in the game yet. Yeah. Quote unquote. I don't know if they're gonna be in the game. I but don't he think has so. Ninja moves. 
Yep. He's pretty cool. I like that. He's got rain. What is it? Ermac, smoke. And I believe Reptile. he even has uh, uh, one of Noob Saibai's grabs. Yeah, and um, Reptile. And Reptile Slide. Um, um, the grab he has, well, the one he does as his, like, um, this is Fatal Blow. Yeah, yeah it's okay. Scorpion, Sub Zero, and Noob Saibot. And I don't know the story of how he has it, but I know he's supposed to have the souls of people. Yeah. I thought that he killed. Or at least that he absorbed. So yeah. I know in the story, those ninjas, or you see them dead. Well, yeah. not all of them. You don't see Reptile dead, do you? Uh, no. So I don't know about reptile, but I guess it could be a reptile because they're lizard men or whatever. So no. multiple. Yeah, he had he had a reptile because the he has the the, the trip. Mm -hmm. Reptile. I mean, he does the slide. It's reptile. No, no, no. That's not what I'm talking about. The reason <coughs> for him having the souls oh. is supposed to be in in context of Shang Song. <coughs> it's supposed to be he absorbs your soul, which means you're dead. Yeah. I understand he has. Ermac, because I saw him in the crypt, like just yeah. dead. Yeah, they kill him in the crypt. Do you know if the other ninjas are like, can you find them dead anywhere? Yeah, Rain too. Oh, you do find them dead? Wow. Yeah. Okay, and I so, think you see, I think you do see Reptile dead. So you see them. And I like, I, I wonder when he killed Smoke or when he absorbed uh, Smoke. I, don't, I, I don't think Smoke died in the X. Okay, okay. So. It makes sense too, because there's a, another part of his his character, the the fatal blow, you know, which we call the X ray. But yeah. he has Sub Zero and Scorpion, and it makes you go, why does he have those two? But I, also, there are other Scorpion and Sub Zeros because of the whole time travel aspect. So yeah, and also, I believe he does have the soul of the dead Sub Zero, yeah, the one that became our, um, the one that became Noob Saibot, yeah, because Quan Chi, I was told, Quan Chi had the body. Okay. And that's what became Noob Saibot. They resurrected his body and he became new. But apparently Shang Tsung has his soul. So cool. that's hella consistency. But dude, he looks cool as hell. So they have early access for Shang Tsung. Uh, will be available June 18th. As well as the classic arcade ninja skin pack. Which I'm yes. kind of cool yeah. with. Uh, the characters that were announced for the first uh, four waves are Shang Tsung, Night Wolf, Sindel, and Spawn. I'm excited for Spawn. I, I'm actually very curious on how they're going to use him. Mm -hmm. um, and the first then, time since Soul Calibur that he's been a guest character. And Spawn been a rumored character for Mortal Kombat since 9. And mm -hmm. he was a rumored yeah. char character for Injustice too. Yeah, nobody to blame but Ed Boone because he kept talking about him. Yep. So... Finally, um, he's gonna deliver. And then we also had like a sound of two characters that we didn't get revealed, but a lot of people are guessing it's Ash from Evil Dead and T one thousand from Terminator. It's not. He's sure it's not T eight hundred. T eight hundred. That's, the, that's the Arnold one. That's the Arnold one. Is it gonna be the liquid, the liquid metal one? That would be. That would be cool. Yeah, it would. It, yeah, see, it would cool. uh, yeah, it's a T eight hundred. It's the one that's the metal. Body. I think it's just gonna be the body. I don't think that's gonna be Schwarzenegger. Yeah, I, I, I get that. I mean, yeah. I wouldn't. Do you know? Because I they've done collaborations before with existing franchises. Does yeah. WB have uh, Terminator as one of their franchises? Probably no. not. I think. Okay. Well, uh, but I, I don't doubt it. If they're gonna go to a T eight hundred, they'll probably put Arnold. It's iconic. Yeah. And yeah. I would I would be happier if it was Terminator One Arnold actually. Yeah. This, this skin. Maybe I'll have like two. Maybe I'll have the two skins. I'll yeah, T two skin. T two T one. Yeah, that'd be like, Yeah. And as for the other two characters, are you excited either way for uh, Terminator and or Ash? Oh, uh, Ash would be interesting. Yeah, I think about that. He, he hasn't been of... in a serious fighting game. He was in the horror game though. Yeah. If you remember. Yeah. That had like all the mascots from different horror movies, and um, they kind of did the Chainsaw Charlie, uh, Chainsaw Ma well, Chainsaw uh, Massacre. Oh yeah, and the Leatherface was actually the Leatherface, yeah. yeah, and he played pretty decently, so I can see mm -hmm. how they were working in that game. Yeah, well, are you excited for him particularly? Like, do you like the character Ash? Yeah, 
I think it's gonna be fun. Uh, I like him. Um, I'm very happy for uh, Spawn because I want to see how they're gonna use Spawn. I want. I hope they don't skimp out and not use the cape. And then change the cape. Because um, that's one of the major things that no game has ever gotten right. They always because it's too much. It's yeah. too much to actually animate or to incorporate into a move set. They always take it off. And then also like just him in general and how they're gonna make him look and is gonna have the current look, is he gonna have the classic look. I hope none of his moves have bad animations. I'm yeah. just gonna put that out there because it's still another round. Like and they've also, gotten better with this game. There's still some there's still some questionable things that they be doing. And also if he's gonna be a big character because Swan is pretty tall. Okay. Okay. He's like comic wise, he's like six four, six five, so I wonder if he's gonna have the height and everything too. Oh, that's interesting. Think about so that. will he play like a big character or will he play kind of like a mid character? Like depends. It, it, a lot of things they could use, um they could, they could well, do you know what? I think about it this way, if he's in the realm of Mortal Kombat, I don't think his size is gonna be an issue because Sha because Shao Kahn is huge. Yeah. And um What's his name? Koro Khan. Like they're like supposed to be big characters anyway. So I don't yeah. think he's gonna be out of place. Yeah. I do wonder if he's gonna use his magic. Like that'd be a waste of Oh you know what? That that actually makes a lot of sense for him to have different variations, one that uses magic and one that doesn't. Yeah. Because, you know, obviously the counter. Do they get rid of that? The counter? Uh, yeah, well the counter. No, they have they have something similar to it. But it's not like injustice. No, no. I'm talking about spawn. His counter. His counter. I'm not sure. Whenever he uses magic, it's a number that used to go down from the old, the old school spawn. I don't think that, they changed that. The whole that they, that got changed completely. Really? Yeah. Throughout the new spawn. Do they ever put anything back? Any type of limit on him? Oh uh, no. Unlimited power now. But. They did change. It was an Al Simmons for a while, and then now it's Al Simmons again. So it wasn't was Al Simmons. What? It was an Al Simmons for a while. Yeah. Who was it? Some random dude. I don't. Remember. <laughs> he was not important enough for me to read. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I, I kind of uh, threw off on Spawn when they changed when they killed off Al Simmons. That seems unnecessary. Yeah. Well, I'm. And, and, I've been I, I I collected spawn since day one. Like mm -hmm. I'm one of those dudes that kept up with spawn to about 200. That's when it killed off Al Simmons, and then I, I stopped from there. I was like, you know yeah, how long was? Uh, about five years ago. Okay. Yeah, he's still going. The comic's still going, but I I, I have no clue what's going on. In the current story, like I I 100% gave up and they killed him off, and then they brought him back in a shitty way too. So I was like, uh. Okay. Do you remember what it was? Because I haven't read it in years. Yeah. Um, again, I, 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 I haven't read it. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, I have not read it at all. So, so uh, this year. So. Well, you know what? I guess it's time because the movie's supposed to be soon. So. Yeah. What's that, well, well that, that's what Fallen says. Will it be Jamie Foxx as the um, Simmons in this game? It, right. <laughs> that's what he has said. He said Jamie Foxx signed on for the movie, so... Will it? Will you actually see Al Simmons? Well, I mean, look, you gotta do hamburger face, right? You have to. They don't really have to. Yeah, come on, that's iconic. His his <laughs> ugly face. It'd be one of the co extra costumes. And shit. Yeah, that makes sense. But I mean, don't forget, this game is the game that have extra costumes. Yeah, so I can see it happening. Unfortunately, maybe to his detriment because you know the grinding aspect, but like. Mortal Kombat got a lot of skins. Yeah, maybe, maybe we get a um, medieval spawn. That's face. what I'm thinking. Oh yeah, use that big ass. What? What he used the sword? Is it like a third variation? Maybe. He, well, and well, in Soul Calibur, we used that an axe. So yeah, we never well, used an axe. Icon. Big ass sword, fucking medieval spawn at it. That's just huge. Yeah. I remember. Did you ever play the Dreamcast game? Yes, I did. Like I never got to see that in the arcade. I heard it was a port of an arcade game. It was like it, it was like a Tristan Metal with Spawn. It was just it was nonstop, just yeah. blasting rock music and just you, you just go around a corner and there's somebody waiting for you. Yeah. And hopefully you you know how to play because you just don't get blown up. 
because I remember you, it, it had it had like you remember back then before you really do graphic violence yeah. where like you would just blow up and just you just fall in half or something like that. It's kind of yeah. what that game had. Just oh, I walked around this corner and the violator was here and he killed me. Yep. I actually remember that game. That game was actually a lot of fun. It was. It was. I think it was in the same type of vein as um. Not Dynamite Cop. Um, well, I, it kind of did. It had that really fast action, but it had like those big yellow symbols to indicate a weapon and like a circle around your feet yeah, to show it, you were. It, it was, uh, it was, again, it was very twisted metal but without the vehicles. It was like a arena battle. Yeah, it was an arena fighter. Yeah. Yeah, it's an arena fighter. And um, yeah, point. it was very it was twisted metal. It was grimy. It would look like something out of like that, just that time period. Uh, I, I, yeah, I own the game. No, I, you have to say late 90s because Dreamcast came out in 99. Like, yeah. just really grimy, rock inspired. But it, was, it, was, it wasn't it was the deepest game, but I think that's probably the best Spawn game. Because if you go yeah. back, Spawn doesn't have that many games. And then you look at them, and they're not all good. Yeah. I had that Spawn for PlayStation. I think oh, I got that for my birthday present. You don't want to talk about that game. Ooh, I tried so hard to beat that game. That SNES one was hard too. See, that was hard, but it was at the least actually cool. Yeah. You know, it looked cool. It had the big chunky sprites and whatnot from back in the day. Like it looked cool. But... Yeah. Mm. See, and then you had uh, then he appeared in Soul Calibur. He was the Xbox exclusive character in Part Two. Yeah, this guy kind of don't like that. Yeah. Yeah, he was an Xbox exclusive character for So Calibur 2. He actually played differently too. Like he, they used him as a big guy, because he had the axe and all. So he played like a mixture of Astroff and a, and had some speed to him. That's weird. But I don't remember them incorporating the the, the cape or anything. I I really don't remember. I haven't played that game in such a long time. Yeah, it was just hard to do. Yeah. And um, I just yeah. trying to animate that now. He had a PS2 game when they changed his look and they gave him the boot, the big boot on his leg. Yeah. And the, yeah, the machine guns. I don't remember the PS2 game. Uh, shout outs to the, I think the best friends played it. It was like a very generic game. I bet most of those games were. It was like a generic third person shooter. Spawn. I think it might have been. Mm, was video it games. Yeah, it was, it was. I think it was PS2 Xbox era. PS2, Xbox. I remember this. I, I remember the Super Nintendo game because I actually own that. I have it. Mm -hmm. And then Soul Calibur, I remember. Uh, I remember the, he, that wasn't the most popular version because the Xbox wasn't the most popular system. I remember that. Yeah. He, he kind of. Okay, Spawn Armageddon. Yeah. They also released on Xbox and GameCube. Yeah, it was that time period, you know, multi-platform games. Mm -hmm. It focused on having a, kind of like a generic Devil May Cry style. It was not Devil May Cry. <laughs> no, it was not. It was like Demon May Whimper, maybe. It was not <laughs> that good. No bueno. Demon Go Boo. -hoo. Yeah, basically. <laughs> basically. Uh, Demon stumped his toe. Yeah. I remember the Super Nintendo game and some of the villains just getting retarded as so. hell. Oh really? See that's the thing. I never I never got past the first stage. It was an okay game. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, some more some more comic news popped up. Um That's about it for for that. I mean we talked about the characters and stuff. Mm -hmm. Shang Tsung has the 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 when he wins he does the Mortal Kombat. Your soul is mine. Yeah, and, and if you look at the guy, it's actually the actor that played him. In, yeah, uh, and the other thing that we didn't mention is that he becomes young Shang Tsung when he fights. Yeah. So that's pretty cool. They kept that whole thing. Cool. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. I'll probably have some videos of Shang Tsung like, yeah, play. Mm -hmm. Um. So that should be coming soon. You said it was like two weeks? Uh, yeah, 15th. Uh, or if you have the season pass, you get early access to 15. Okay, cool. Which I own the season pass because I got the collectors. Yes. The big ass scorpion head. 
I probably um, could have got different ones. Like, I would have took a reptile head. Yeah. I, 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 I like the Scorp Scorpion was always my dude. Yeah. Would you have taken a noob cyber head? I guess yes. I like his helmet. <laughs> I think he has a he has a sick hood, like hood shit in the new game. Yeah, he does. He is pretty cool. Yeah. Um, but uh, what I was gonna say, comic wise, I saw that it's official that the um, Robert Pattinson was chosen. That was like officially chosen by Warner Brothers to be the next yeah. Batman. So no, it's no longer a rumor. Yeah, he will be the next Batman. Yep. So whether you like it or not, there you go. I'm very like um, I'll wait and see. I wonder what it's gonna, what type of Dark Knight he's going to be. Yeah, because we you seem know. bad, we seem good. So, well, look, but listen, at least he will not, he he will not be as bad as Batman and Robin. Yeah, that's you that's go. the goal. At least that's one of the goals. Don't be as bad as Clooney. You can't go that bad, you know. Yeah. Then there's also rumors that Vanessa Hudgens. Is gonna play Catwoman that came out around that same time. I don't know uh, her acting at all. I just remember yeah. the show back in the day, like Lee or something. Yeah. So I don't know what. I have zero idea. Nah, she was in High School Musical. High School Musical. Thank you. Yeah, she was in Angley. Um, she had a TV show called Powerless, which was on NBC, which was short lived. It was about uh, a newspaper that focused on superhero stories and shit like that and it was supposed to be in the your world of dc it had a cool concept but it wasn't that great okay understood so yeah that i have no real uh, connection to yeah as a, like her as catwoman i don't mind who or plus catwoman you know? yeah uh, i just see see you let me ask you because i still haven't seen it i need to watch it did you like anne hathaway as catwoman she was okay. I that was the that was the Dark Knight movie I didn't like. I didn't like Dark Knight Rising. I don't like you did like actively disliked it or it was just like that was my least favorite. That was my least favorite. Um, I honestly like that was one I didn't want to watch again. Okay. Okay. Like I watched it once and yeah, I'm good. I don't need to watch it again. Hmm. Like Dark Knight was the whole different. I liked the Dark Knight a lot. And then the first one, even the first one, was like I watched it once and I was fine with that. Gotcha. It was a good movie, but I, it was just like something I won't watch over and over again. I understand. Yeah. I, I didn't like, yeah, like the first Thor movie. Yeah, I wasn't crazy about the first, um, the first, the, the dark, no, not the Dark Knight Rise. I was with Tom Hardy as Bane. Yes. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I'll give Robert Patterson a chance. Like, I feel like everyone is just, just sees Twilight. They don't see nothing else he did, so. Yeah, That's, yeah, that was gonna happen no matter what. Like yeah. anyone that was gonna be picked as Batman, it was gonna get looked at in a certain way. Cause even Affleck, I feel like Affleck actually did not get a full chance to be the actual Batman. But yeah. it's what it is. It's true. Also, he, he had he got two group movies, so he didn't really get a chance I mean, to actually. That's really true. Batman. He didn't actually get his own movie. Period. Yeah. Um, another thing on on Screen Rant, because this is. Where I got the confirmation of Robert Pattinson, um, Supergirl movie. Um, they're gonna start production. That you know, let's, let's be accurate. Supergirl movie targeting 2020 um, to start production. How you feel about that? And I mean, unfortunately, I don't think they're gonna use the woman, the girl from the show. No, um, actually, actually, I like the show. So I'm I know that's what I was gonna say. Unfortunately, because I've, I've heard from you and various other people that she's really good. Yeah. We just don't forget, we just forget about the first season. Yeah. Um, Supergirl. Again, that's another one. It's a character I really don't care about. So it's something that when I see the trailer, that's when I'm, I'll pick if I want to see it or not. Okay. Well, ha hasn't the show given you a different outlook on the character? Yeah, I like the character in the show. But again, I know it's not going to be anything close to what the show is. So it's like it's a whole different character. Yeah, you. Yeah, that's still. Isn't that unfortunate though? Yeah. That you have to be like skeptical of the movie, like mm -hmm. damn it, because you because it's DC. It's like mm, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what y'all doing. Exactly. Yeah, that's but, unfortunate. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting what we see out of it. Um, now it's gonna be a whole thing, especially with Batman. Uh, there will be a Robin. If it's gonna be on this, it's gonna be based on this. Maybe it should be its own entitled story. Maybe it should maybe have another brand new origin of Batman because 
We've seen so much Batman that it comes to a point that we might just need a whole start, restart of the whole thing. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, mm -hmm. A nice refresh is definitely... Yeah, because right now, fun. at the moment, like, I'm just like, uh... <laughs> yeah, listen, I understand. It's not... They have. They don't have the best track record. They just yeah. don't. Yeah. Can't... You don't have to sugarcoat it. They ain't been doing that great. Like, except for recently, recently. But the I big like tent poles... Yeah, and, and they've been seeing success with those two movies. Since yeah. then, Aquaman and Dr. Man. And Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman was the one of no, the most successful ones. Yeah. Ones. Recent ones. Like, so they're showing that they can change. Yeah. Because, you know, whatchamacallit was before what's the order was wonder woman before batman superman no batman superman was the first one and then then it was wonder woman then it was justice league then oh, it was justice league was the movie in between aquaman and then it was shazam okay so justice league was the one in between gotcha yeah so and then wonder woman has a sequel for next year too as in like uh, it's going to come out next year yes uh wonder woman 82 is supposed to be in a set in the 80s Wow. Yeah. Huh? Well, see, like, yes, they have successes, but just, I guess the really big ones, the ones that were supposed to start the massive universe, yeah. they're the ones that flop. So, oh, and so not, not even money I, wise, that I can't even sit here and say, oh, they failed because they made so much money, but receptive, you know, the critical reception from the fans is just like, nah. Yeah. We went like, to see it, but nah. Yeah, it got its hype, but it wasn't that great. Yes, exactly. It's not beloved by the fans. Nobody's yeah. championing Justice. It's not. It's not an away game. Yeah, or not. It not even that. It doesn't even have a, a cult following. You know what I mean? No. It's not a sleeper hit. It's not yeah. a cult following or anything like that. It's just it's a movie that came out, did what it did, and it was like, eh. yeah. So I I get that they don't have the the people chomping at the bit like, oh shit, when's the next movie? But yeah i'm excited that they're going with supergirl mm -hmm. it's just weird again the whole universe is like they're not going in order like what, yeah what where's everybody else's movie yet i feel like they just going with characters to just try to see if it sticks or not yeah and <clears throat> it also seems like they're trying to distance themselves from the justice league they would have to a little bit so they just think it was pretty bad movie they, I feel like they do have to separate themselves from it. I feel like honestly, what happened was, and I, I think I explained this in the podcast before, was what Superman Batman was supposed to do. It was supposed to take place in the Nolan universe and not, and not a separate Batman universe. It was all supposed to connect to Christopher Nolan's movies, which is the begins Dark Knight and Dark Knight Rising. Mm -hmm. That's why Man of Steel was Man of Steel, and that's why it, it had that feel because it felt like a Nolan movie. Gotcha. And that was okay. what way it was supposed to connect. It was not kind of supposed to connect the way it did, but a lot of things changed. Nolan stepped down, and it was a whole bunch of bullshit. Mm, understood. Yep, yep. That's the unfortunate part. So. But yeah, uh, Supergirl, uh, again, uh, I have to wait and see um, who they cast and things like that because. Again, I, I, Luigi, I give a judgment in the first tra trailer and see how I, I feel about it and then go from there. Like, with Shazam, the first trailer, I got excited. I was like, oh, it's different. Yes. That's and true. I think that was my main thing of going to see Shazam because it was like 100% different. Gotcha. Um, also, uh, corrections for the Flash movie. Uh, Ezra Miller is actually the, the, the rumor, I think, not rumor. It's yeah. confirmed that he is writing like a supposed to be writing a script for the movie. No, um, he left. No, no, no. That this is recent. This was like yeah. when we did the podcast. It was like two days before. This oh, is super okay. recent. He didn't leave. He's gonna try to write it. Okay. Let's so, see where he goes. I'm not, again. I'm not familiar with Esma Esma Miller. Yeah. With like his acting or anything that he's written, I have zero idea. I didn't really care for the Flash or what we saw in Justice League, so it was like, eh. Okay. I didn't care for him. He ran like a crazy lizard. I didn't like him. Oh no! I kind of want to see that now. 
Yeah, he, he ran like a crazy lizard. Like his legs flew on the side, and it was weird. Like it, yeah. again, and then also, then you have the TV show doing a really good Flash, and then you had this, and it's just like, uh, it's sad. It's sad. And then then Flash is one of my favorite ones. I'm, I'm very like skeptical with that character. Yeah, gotcha. That's true. Yeah. Like the ones I want to see in movies that done in a good movie are not Batman Superman. It's like Green Lantern. It's the Flash. Mm-hmm. I want to see Booster Gold. I want to see like random characters like that, like Animal Man and things like that, just to see where they go with it. Like, the, the, like the, the TV show Swamp Thing looks pretty sick. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, they had the trailer for the, the for the DC Universe, the uh, Swamp Thing. Mm-hmm. It looks pretty sick. Doom Doom Patrol been pretty good. Oh, it's actually out. Yeah. Okay. Uh, if you have the DC app, the DCU app, it's on there. Um, it's mainly on the app. It's not on any channel. Okay, understood. So it's exclusive yeah. to that. Yeah. Gotcha. Ah, well, well, some good so, stuff. So there's some good. St- yeah, like you just said, there's some good stuff. Yeah. Um. The reason, original reason why I wanted to cut to get into like the movie news and stuff was because I wanted to get your take on what happened with the the x-men the x-men movies uh apparently the the director of first class yeah which i didn't know directed uh kingsman yeah and it's matthew vaughn and he was saying that and i it's kind of messed up when i I think about it and and i want to say this is kind of why i don't trust I'm so happy Fox don't have these movies. Isn't it? Isn't isn't Phoenix the last one? Isn't that that's it? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Good God. And then um, it goes into the Marvel. Yeah, but stuff. like apparently the the plans were after First Class they were supposed to do another movie to set up um, Days of Future Past. So there yeah. was supposed to be a movie starring a younger Wolverine. I guess that was gonna transition away from Hugh Jackman. Yeah, like they had the plan set, or well, at least the director had the plan. I guess because he was going to do three movies. Yeah, and what ended up happening was, um, Fox heard the idea. I don't know who it was. Must have been some big wig, some exec. Heard his ideas for what he wanted to do with Future Past, and then they just wanted to. They just said, "Fuck it, let, let's just do that one next." They decided to skip the Young Wolverine movie. Mm. which i think shot them in the foot in the long run because nobody really gives a shit about this new cast i got feel like there's not i'll put it to you this way yes yeah. people say oh man um first class was a good movie that you can take it how you want it me personally i do not like that movie it's because of what they do to some of the characters the way they made havoc hula hoop yeah i want to just take a fork <laughs> and stick it in somebody's eye like why would you do that? how dare you disrespect that character like that yeah but anyway um sure people have a fondness for that movie right but the first three movies and you could i know i'm not i know maybe you might you don't have the 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 most fondness for them but the they do have at least some type of nostalgia for them because they built like they kind of built a franchise i'll I'll add that third movie oh no I, i get it but i'm just saying like the reason why people care about Hugh Jackman as Wolverine, they care about Patrick Stewart as Professor X and yeah. Ian McKellen as Magneto was because they took the time to get you accustomed to these characters in more than just one movie. Yeah. Instead of just trying to go for the flashiest thing, the next movie, and not, you know, slowly building a franchise. It's, again, yeah. it seems to be that nobody understands why the Marvel movies are so good. It's not that they're all just flashy and shit. Is that they take the time to build the universe it took them what 10 years to build yeah. the universe because they legitimately took the time to do it and fox does not know how to do it <laughs> they no, sorry but <laughs> i would just say the fondness is there for those first three movies or at least for the people who played the characters because they built that up i have no type of love for any of those people that were in that movie except for you jack you know what i mean yeah and any references to like Patrick Stewart or Ian McKellen they had yeah it's just because these are brand new people and I have not been you know 
been, been able to get attached to them for more than one movie so i think now i realize why i really didn't give a shit about fast Manor as magneto okay like for me i really could care less about him as magneto i liked him as magneto and especially in in first class i think that was the reason why i liked first class was oh. the guy that played xavier and magneto xavier is a, is a good is a good kid i like the mcelroy as xavier but um, i couldn't disagree anymore with magneto yeah. it was just ugh. it was it was vanilla as hell for me yeah very vanilla very like this just seems boilerplate this is check all the boxes off like if you were have replaced him the next movie i wouldn't have cared okay like that's how i feel i did I, not hate the the, the fast business portrayal of magneto yeah but he didn't leave me with such an impression that made me go god damn this guy's good like ian mckellen i and i think it might have to might have been with how the cartoon and the games up to this point portrayed magneto with a certain like no yeah. nobility yeah because you know how magneto always seems like why does he seem so damn snobby yeah why does he always seem like he's like a rich dude or something you know what i mean like he always carries himself with a certain air of like nobility to him yeah and i feel like ian mckellen was able to convey that no, I think that's because of the type of actor he is. Yeah. He's a Shakespearean, classically trained actor. Yeah. But, like, Fast Winner just wasn't doing it for me. And Magneto uh, was just, like, a guy that got mad, and he had magnet powers. Yes. Yeah. That's it. So, I I was never a big fan of the X-Men movies at all. Mm-hmm. Like, I I think my favorite X-Men movie is Deadpool. Yeah. Okay. Deadpool okay. 1 and 2. I think they use the X-Men characters better than the whole uh, X-Men franchise. Okay. Um, my problem with the first X Men was it was too gimmicky for me. Like, it, like I didn't like the leather outfit. Like, there was a lot of things about that movie I just didn't like. The only mm-hmm. thing I say was my positive was Wolverine. I in the first Jack one? Or... No, in, in general, Wolverine was the best part. Like, he was. The... Yeah. Um. Yeah. Um. So the last last two things to talk about: Jessica Jones you know, season three. And that's coming out uh, Friday, June fourteenth. Yeah. Um, do you have any excitement for that or no? Nah, sorry. Right. Like I like the last two seasons, so. Okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah, I'm excited. I thought the second season was all right. The first season was actually way better, but. So I guess that means that's it, right? That's no more. Yeah, that's the last Marvel show on Netflix. I uh, like you, like you were saying earlier, the speculation somebody's gonna die. Yeah, everyone died. Everyone died. Everybody. 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 Yeah, exactly. Um, one thing I noticed uh, with that being the last one and all, um, Netflix slowly been, well, Disney been slowly taking their stuff off of Netflix too. So if you haven't watched the Infinity War, you haven't watched Ant Man and Wasp, uh, I say watch it now because I know they took out Doctor Strange. I know they took out a couple other ones. So. Okay. Yeah, I made sure to do that. I made sure to watch those. So. Um, and um, something well, i just read while we were um where we had our little difficulty i just read uh the original voice actor for spawn uh that the, the hbo show okay he's the voice for spawn and the w in the game and mortal, mortal Kombat, yeah really wow okay awesome that's awesome so i'm a little happy about that yeah me too that's oh, that's you, i can look forward to that voice this is true. He did. He did have he did. the best voice. So you'll be mad deep. <laughs> I mean, also, it has been a long time, too. Yeah. So I think a lot of people. I don't. Do you know? Do they say the guy's name? I don't know his name by heart, but I, I was looking at the article. Okay. Um, so give me two seconds now. Yeah. Because yeah. I just posted it up on our Red Cyclone Inc. Facebook page. Nice. Nice. It's all news go on that page. Also, you know what? If this works better... Oh, it's Keith David. Oh, snap. See, I don't even remember that. Really don't. It was Keith David. That's okay. Awesome. I was like, no wonder he has a deep voice. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, my God. How can I forget that? Damn. It's been so long. You know what? That's 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 all it is. It's been a long time. Do, um, you, rem- something- do you remember liking the HBO series? They were just dry. They were good. They were just long okay yeah i remember them being especially violent but that went with the, the series so it made sense um 
And I, I think they tried their hardest to convey a mature story. Yeah. So that's that'll be interesting to see what happens when they do okay. that. that um. Yeah, it'll be interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, out for free on PS4, you got the best Sonic game in the last ten years. Man, might it be Sonic. ever? Yeah, ever. Probably could be ever. It might be ever. You know, uh, Sonic Mania and uh, Borderlands: uh, t- uh, The Handsome Tales are the free games for PS4 this month. Yes, they let you do the the whole collection, which means technically it's three games in one. Two. I thought it was. I thought you got Borderlands One. No, it's Borderlands Two and the prequel. That's it. No, um, yeah. not the, one. Oh, the pre sequel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the. Yeah. They they just renewed. They just remastered one. That's true. That's right. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. And then Xbox, you got NHL Nineteen and some other random game that's not that great. Okay. Gotcha. I'm not happy with Xbox. <laughs> I got a question to ask you. Um, have you been keeping up with the 2K stuff? Yeah. Um, does it look like there's going to be any dr- dramatic changes for the basketball stuff? Um, they usually do things every year. They Honestly, I give 2K a lot of credit when they do their games because they do... some. They, they, they don't have a problem going back to the drawing board and recreating things. Yeah, and that's something they do every year. There's things that sometimes are slightly noticed, and there's some things that are big time noticed. Like this year's defense was the key. Like the defense in this one, like even on soup on easy, they will take they will they will start reading how you play and take defense in that style. Okay, see, I didn't know that. So that was something that they really worked on. It was the defensive because it was a lot easier than the first the last year's game. This year. You have to earn your shots. Like even if you're playing on easy mode, you gotta earn your shots. If not, they're gonna steal the ball or they're gonna they're gonna double team you in a certain way. So yeah, oh, they okay. like say for instance if you shoot with a point guard, most of the time they will start double teaming and triple teaming that point guard. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That's and those they, those are little things. Uh, graphic wise, I think they should. They, the graphic wise, they never had problems with either. They they always were intact with the graphics and stuff. It's more um, just adapting to the newer year and trying to improve it every year. Okay, understood. And I think that's the biggest thing. They they have to adapt and improve it every year. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, but it's a good. Um, I'm hoping WWE does. T- it, I hope with WWE games they they take the same approach and. Try, try to go back to the drawing board with certain things and start improving on it because sometimes things get kind of dried out and like last year's game was good it's just again it's the same gameplay nothing really changed in that matter but again it's like the Madden thing it, was like, it comes out every year you kind of have to really do something to make it better in that sense okay cool cool um and I guess before we wrap it up, we can talk about Death Stranding, which is turning into one of my most anticipated games for this year. Or just yeah. pieces of art, if anything, because it looks ridiculous. They showed, I think it was like a nine minute trailer for the game um, that showed off some gameplay, showed off a lot of, you know. And see, this is the thing most games only have like a two minute long trailer three minute long maybe five at the max this was nine minutes and so you know right off the bat this is kojima at his best we are going to get cut scenes up the yin yang that are probably like 15 minutes long per time there's probably going to be one at the end that's like an hour and a half long if you're not invested in that i i would say get ready to jump off board because it already looks crazy and there's yeah. going to be a tons of exposition you're going to be watching movies those latter Yo, know, that that's one of the coolest things I've seen in that game, dog. Is that the traversal in that game looks very original. Yeah. But it just looks cool. That freaking giant ladder, the 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 thing you could put to scale down like a an actual cliff and whatnot. Like yeah. the motors that 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 transforming bike that the main character has. Um, like they show off some of the the the, the Juka moves that you have. When they, the yeah. guys, the enemies are chasing you, you can smack them in the face with your little briefcase. 
<laughs> Which it looks like it's heavy as hell, so I'm yeah. not even gonna play that off. Um they show more of the baby which I they don't explicitly give you plot details. There's a few things said here and there and then from then you can infer and we can guess away until the game comes out. And they have also put out the the date when the date the game is supposed to drop. I mean I'm not sure if Kojima, I don't think Metal Gears are famous for um, being pushed back. So I'm guessing that November, I believe it's November 8th, yeah. is when they said it's going to debut. Which people were surprised. They thought it was going to come out for PS5. Yeah. I did. I it's did. A- I thought it was going to be a next gen game because it, it just looks ridiculous. I mean, I'm, but then again, after playing MGS5, you know what? You know what? I'm not too skeptical. It was just because that wasn't a game that it was like hitchy or anything. I didn't I didn't experience performance problems playing that game, and it was fucking huge, and it was pretty. It was pretty. Um, That's something you always get from a Kojima game. They yes, usually yes. go. They usually use everything that the system could do with those games. Yeah, and the funny thing that you mentioned that specifically, um, and looking at the wiki to get the names for the characters, it there's a thing I forgot about it is that. He essentially went with the lead system architect of PS4, which is Mark Cerny. Oh. And they, they they spent time in, in, I think they said January 2016, looking for a specific game engine to develop the game on. So literally, Kojima went to the, the head guy in charge of PS4 for, the, for what works on the system, basically. Yeah. And was like, yo, we got to get an engine for this. And whatever they found, and they, they actually had collaboration from Guerrilla Games, I think, which... Didn't they make, um... Aren't they the Resistance Studio? Yeah, they, they did, um... Um... The no, Robo- they did, the, they did uh, Killzone. They're the Killzone guys. That's who they are. Yeah, baby. they did, um... This game, um... Fuck. Um, Horizon. Bit, the, Horizon. The Horizon Zero Dawn. But, like, I, I know, like, they're they're the... First, they were first-party studio. Yeah. So basically, they got help from Sony to do the, you know, Sony one of Sony's main studios to help, I guess, find the best way to get things done. Um, for what they showed, it looks amazing. I'm sure it was running on a, on the highest end, whatever, because it's not out yet, obviously. Um, I don't think the game's multi. I mean, I don't. I think the game is multi-platform. Yeah. Because I don't remember if it was exclusive. It's exclusive. As of this moment, it's exclusive to okay. PS4. Because people were saying that there was a trailer release and it didn't have the logos on it. And it was like, oh, is it? So people were like, There's a what's that mean? big chance to come out on PC. I don't doubt that because I, I noticed that recently uh, PlayStation exclusives and a lot of just PlayStation games in general are going to PC as well. Yeah. Like Yakuza you know, Zero just, just got there. I think Kiwami 2 yeah. just came out there too. Like so, those are exclusive. I know they're not Sony first party, but they are exclusive, and they're they're going on PC. So, this might follow suit. This is not Sony. Just remember that. So, it looks crazy. It looks. I think it looks amazing. I actually really like the music in the, in the, the trailer. Yeah. Um, it's got Norman Reedus as the main character, and it's got a a ton of. I I see these people. I'm not exactly 100 percent familiar with for everybody. I'm not. The, the biggest Mads Mikkelsen fan because I don't really remember what he's been in before. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, what is it? Gu- Guillermo del Toro is in the game. Yeah. Like, he's actually a character in the game. There's a bunch of other people. They 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 run through the list of everybody who's supposed to be in there um, at the end. But the character names are the things I really wanted to get through because they're hilarious. Yeah. Um, there's the regular ones for uh, Maz Mickelson's character, which is like he seems to be the main antagonist. His name is just Cliff. Yeah. Uh, but then there's one of the female characters named Fragile. Another one is named Mama. <laughs> this is silly. One of them is named Del Toro's character is named Dead Man. There's another guy uh, who wears like a skull face mask. His yeah. name is Die Hardman. Literally, Die Hyphen Hardman. He look cool. He does look cool, but again, that Kojima naming convention. Another really badass dude, the one with the gold skull face. His yes. name is Higgs, voiced by Troy Baker. So you're gonna get some quality voice acting there. 
um, another one named another character named Emil. There's another one named Hartman, which looks like he's the central scientist-looking character. Yeah. Um, I don't think they said the baby's name, but it, it also seems like the baby has something to do with time travel. Yeah. Because they say like you can go to the past, and then while he's holding the baby and looking at him, like you can co- communicate with the past. I think, I think the baby is. My theory is that the baby is it's either you or somebody else brought back brought into okay. the future, but you can only go into the future as a baby. Okay. That's what I think it is. Because I think the past somebody from the past is trying to help you avoid whatever happened in the future. That's that's what I think it is. And it if you ask me, it seems like it's a um Kojima's putting out some heavy handed messages in the game, like about borders and stuff. Obviously, you know what's going on in today's world with, with borders and whatnot, but a lot of uh, themes of borders, isolation, nuclear fallout, because it seems like the president, who's a female in this game, and Norman Reedus' character just goes, says to her, you're the, you're the president of shit, of jack shit, because it seems like the entire country is like destroyed. Maybe, yeah. maybe it's the fallout of nuclear war. Um... It's a lot of things. You see, one thing I noticed I don't think people picked up on is that I think that baby really does have to do with time travel because when you see the scent the, the main like monsters, I guess, which are like shadows, I, I, and it's fucked up, but I think those are, I think that's what's left when you die from a nuclear blast. If you've ever heard of what happens to you, or what happened in um, Hiroshima, I think, in Nagasaki, is that when you get blown up by a nuclear bomb, all that's left is your shadow. Yeah. All that's left is a shadow on the ground. And I think that's what they're supposed to represent. Like, I really think this is, like, the game revolves around nuclear war. Eh, at least the aftermath of it. At least that's the like aftermath. every other Hiroshima <laughs> No, 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 but it's no, he's never dealt with what happens when the nukes go off. Mm-hmm. Metal Gear's always been about preventing it, yeah. and you always do. So this is the aftermath. This seems like, oh shit, it happened. Okay. Um, like the president looks like a cancer survivor. Like you so see like, her, but she's bald with the with the American flag wrapped up on her head. Like, yeah. Real specific like things are going on here. So this is the Power Rangers RPM. Oh, oh, what? That's after they lose. Yeah, they so, lost, and the world is destroyed, and they have this one community that they they're trying to keep up and stuff yeah yeah i mean do you hear the president tell him that he the, the tell the main character that he has to like connect the strands you have to go out and find other people and stop stop living in an isolated world and try to try to rebuild america yeah and i and it's like he's just like what the f- whatever man i just just give me the thing that you want me to look because it'll seem like you're on a mission to deliver something to someone yeah. And I guess that's how you're connecting the strands. But I'm, I'm interested because, you know, this is just me speculating. It looks cool. It looks deep as usual. There will probably be 50, 50 layers that you have to go through and watch the, yeah. the cutscenes five times to notice everything, which that's one of the things I like about his game is that yeah. a Kojima game, usually you can play it more than once and you'll see something. You'll be like, I didn't see that before. Yeah. Or, or he'll just straight up put something in the cutscene that wasn't there before, because that's kind of what the second versions of all the Metal Gears used to do. Yeah. Like, you know how there was Metal Gear, then there was the Twin Snakes. Yeah. And that was a reimagining of that game, but it put all types of little Easter eggs in there. Like I remember there was like Yoshi and Suit and Mario with the cape on. Yeah. Like stuff like that. Um. Metal Gear Solid 2, there was a regular edition. Then there was Subsistence. Yeah. No, Substance. That was the one that put the fucking skateboarding in there. Yeah. I think it put the Moai heads from, um, what's that Konami shooting game? Gra- Gradius. Yeah. And then Subsistence was Metal Gear Solid 3, where, again, he, that was like the special edition, but also there's a bunch of added little things here and there. So yeah, I'm, the Ape Escape shit. Yeah, the snake versus monkey stuff and yeah. all that, and yeah, and just like, so I guess maybe you know, Death Stranding is not gonna gonna be like, 
part one and part two or have a, spe- a special edition or i don't know there's no there's not even been any confirmation of dlc or anything which is which i think is good yeah which means you're gonna get a complete game hopefully but that you know so i guess maybe that's gonna be built in all the extra stuff is gonna be built in. i'm i'm curious as hell it sounds I'm good. really curious it sounds like it's gonna be a little fun time yeah gonna, hopefully it's a long game hopefully it's got a lot of just deep interesting lore and stuff it makes a whole new world because remember this is that's it he doesn't he's not the metal gear guy anymore that's yeah. he's he was forcibly removed because konami didn't want to make the game his way so he said fuck it i'm doing my own so Makes this sense. is the first one i'm excited good luck yeah, me too. um you will support it i'll pre I'll, I'll probably pre-order this week when I, oh did you see, did you see the collector's edition I, no, I did not. That might be the image for this one. The baby. Oh, okay. It comes with the little baby inside the, the little protective tube or whatever. That, that's kind of... <laughs> it's ridiculous. It's a life... It's life-size, too. It's a picture of Kojima holding that thing. Yeah. That's I, creepy. I, I, I kind of have to see. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's ridiculous. Um, talking about things, um, I was just looking through randomly in the internet, and they had this little link that said IKEA remade rooms with the furniture that you can actually buy in the store of our famous some famous tv shows so they did the simpsons with a brown couch and they have the picture frame the light the lamp the phone the little table like side table the little lamp the yeah they have everything from the simpsons house and you could recreate the simpsons living room you know their living room is kind of tacky as hell you get pink walls and brown couch and shit <laughs> That's oh, the hero cool. near here or there, but, but they also did the <coughs> they also did the friends. Uh, uh, what's her name? Uh, oh, Ra- Rachel. No, Rachel. yeah, Rachel slash. What was the other lady's name? Monica's house. Monica, thank you. Yeah, they, they did their house, and they also did the Stranger Things house and stuff like that, which was kind of cool. I was like, ah, that's cool. Mm-hmm. You know, like again, the like Simpsons have tacky ass. So it's cool to see that stuff. So what you're saying is that you can actually buy the furniture, furniture. Yeah, you can actually buy the furniture to, to make recreate that, that, oh, that house. Cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's actually cool. Like I, I checked out the link and it looks it looks spot on. So that's actually really cool. We're gonna have a live reaction right now. Like this edition because. Yeah, oh, you see it? So you I'm about to, to look it? at. It. I'm looking it up right now. Oh man, it's. It's freaking, it's interesting. That's all I gotta say. It's real interesting. It's like a baby in a capsule. Yes, yeah, that's the, the little baby in the game, yeah. It comes with a suitcase. Yes, yes it does. It's the suitcase. That's pretty dope. I don't think I'll spend $350 on this stuff. Oh, that's how much it is? Damn. Yeah, yeah it's $350. I don't think I'll spend $350. Well, that's on eBay anyway, but yeah, I ain't spent $350. For a gel baby, no, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, uh, it looks cool. Uh, it comes out in November. It has a November release date, right? Yeah, November eighth. No, no, no. You can get it for one ninety nine. One ninety nine. Okay. So eBay has a street for this. Don't buy it on eBay. No. Yeah. No. It's not. I don't think it's officially for sale yet. I don't think. Yeah, Best Buy has it up. Oh, they do. Okay. How much are they selling it for? Uh, one eighty nine. Okay, cool, cool. Uh, it's I get the discount, so it'll be like that and twenty percent off. Gotcha. So such a weird, such a weird thing. Yeah, but so, it's, it's it's awesome. And then they push back Last of Us uh two to next year. Oh, they they officially announced that. Okay, okay. Yeah. So uh, I I completely understand because seeing Death Stranding is a PS4 exclusive. You didn't want two exclusives within the same time period. Gives the time for one to sell and then spread it out. So you probably get uh, Last of Us 2 in the first quarter, like the end of the first quarter of uh, of the next year. So it'll be like March or April. Ah, uh, okay, gotcha. Yeah. So which is like the where God of War came out. Okay, I understand. Yeah, so that makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. Um, damn, there was something else I just saw that I was going to talk to see. But um, yeah, that's actually, it looks interesting. It does look straight interesting. Um, yeah, the, the trailer is fucking weird. 
but it is. It is weird in a good way, though. It's 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 art. That's all I gotta say. You can see this is somebody's vision, and it don't have to make sense to you or me. Yeah. <laughs> it's all I know. It makes sense to him. Uh, I just hope it plays well. That's all I care about. I hope it's not a burn a burning dumpster fire. He's got a good track record, you know. Yeah, very good so. track record. I like, think the only controversies for five were because of Konami, because yeah. they're the ones that segmented the game like that, and you know, this missing the ending was like tacked on, and there was DLC for it that he didn't want to put, and it was like, yeah, they they kind of messed up the game, but still, I think the best playing Metal Gear Solid. Oh, that was the thing I was like, because you were talking about Konami. Konami is releasing Contra. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, I heard it's twenty bucks. Yeah. Contra Collection, awesome. Um, yeah, the Contra Collection is coming out. I was gonna just check it. The collection. I was gonna, because they just did, finished, uh, they did the release the Castlevania one. Yeah, yeah, they did. That's so really good. I did see this and I was like, oh shit. Did they say, does it have a, a release date? Um, there's no release date as of yet. Okay. But it has eight Contra games. Oh, nice, nice. I know. I heard it has Contra Hardcores, which is my favorite one. So it has Contra the Arcade, Contra NES. Uh, wait, wait, hold up. I think that's just the list of games. Um, where is it? It comes out this summer. They they don't have a full release date, but it's coming out this summer. Um, they did say it's eight games. If you don't know, that uh, you're apparently from Contra. Yeah, so you have Contra, the regular one. You have Super Contra. You have Super C, that was on the SNES. You have Operation C. You have Contra 3, uh, The Alien Wars, and then you also have the Hard Corps. Yes, yes. And then, yeah. That, I'm, I'm excited for that. Like, I'm, I'm actually really excited for this. Hmm. True. True enough. I will be picking that up. I, yeah, I, gotta, I gotta, actually got to pick up the Castlevanias, too. I always was a big fan of the Castlevania games. This is true. So, yes. Video games. Things, things to love. Oh, so, so. Yep, yep. And that's all I got. Still continuing uh, uh, Ninja Ranger, Kako Ranger. Um, I'm like 25 episodes in. Okay, cool. Really good series. I, I like it. It's it has its weird. It's really weird, but it's it's a good weird. I like Death Stranding. It's a good weird. You like the weird. Yes, yes we do. Also, um, apparently YouTube is just acting out, so it's not just us. Yeah. So there you yep, go. yep. Stupid YouTube. Um. Anyway, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. We've been going through that. Um. Our next cast will be in three weeks for Kako Ranger. Um. I'm excited for that one. That one's actually gonna be a fun conversation. Uh, again, this is the equivalent of season two of Mighty Wolf Power Rangers, so we're going through a lot of things in that. It's completely different. It's like, hands, like night and day kind of different. Nice, uh, nice. But it's, I'm excited because and then also our next Power Ranger season is Zio. Mm, this is gotcha. gonna be interesting because I actually liked Zio. What well, I remember of what I did like Zio, but it's gonna change. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh man. What is that? Technically season four? That'll be season four, yeah. Okay, gotcha. Um, yeah, the first five, well, honestly, they do they do each Ranger series season in two seasons, so, like, Zio was technically two seasons. Okay, okay. Because season one was, like, one through 20, and then season two was the rest of them. Mm, but they, they, they just put everything together. But like I, the way, yeah. like the way it aired, it was like two seasons. It, it aired one like in mid year, and then the other half in the other year. Hmm. So. I got you. But yeah, we're going good. It, it's it's really good. Um, Ninja Ranger Kaku, uh, Kaku Ranger is pretty fun so far. Ninja Sentai Kaku Ranger. Ah, uh, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Good. All right. Good stuff. All right. Uh, we can wrap it up. Yep. Thank you for listening to the It Gets Better Square podcast. Uh, make sure you check us out on Red, Red Side Clone Inc. on everything. We are on YouTube. We are on SoundCloud. 
Also, we have a WordPress. We are also on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and we have a Facebook group. And Merck, where you at? Um, it's almost the same things. Uh, Merck with the mic on Instagram, Tumblr, uh, Twitch TV, Twitter, and Instagram. And also follow my kitties, uh, the kitty- kittens of mischief. Follow mm-hmm. them. You'll get a lot of funny pictures and a bunch of cats, and they're cute. <laughs> Do it. And I, I need free litter, god damn it. Give it to me. And um, so yeah, again, second shout out to uh, the Jinkies. Happy birthday. Uh, Happy no, birthday. birthday and again, eat some birthday cake and just watch them. True, true story. <laughs> All right, y'all. Peace out. Peace. Let's remix it.